Welcome to the Learning English Channel. Business English Conversation Solving Problem Hello! In this video, we learn step by step about the essential things we should do in solving problems at work in the English language. Identify the problem. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. As you know, we've been facing some challenges with one of our software programs. Let's start by identifying the problem. Bob, can you please provide an overview of the issue? Good morning, Mr. Oliver and team. The problem we're facing is that the latest update to our software is causing compatibility issues with some operating systems. Users are experiencing frequent crashes, and it's affecting their overall experience with the software. Thank you, Bob. Sarah, John, you've gathered information about the problem. Can you guys tell us? Gather information. I've received several customer support tickets regarding this problem. It seems to affect recently upgraded operating system users. I did some research, and the issue appears to be mainly with the latest computer operating system version. Our software hasn't been optimized to work seamlessly with it. Brainstorm Solutions Thanks for the information, Sarah and John. Now, let's brainstorm some potential solutions to address this problem. Any ideas? One option could be to roll back the latest update for new computer operating system users until we fix the compatibility issues. This will give us time to work on a more robust update. Another approach could be to develop a patch specifically for new computer operating system users to fix compatibility problems. We could also consider reaching out to our beta testers and customers who reported the issue for more detailed feedback on what exactly is causing the crashes. Evaluate options. Those are some good suggestions. Let's evaluate each option. Rolling back the update may temporarily solve the problem, but it could lead to other issues for users who have already installed the latest version. Developing a patch seems like a more targeted solution. Agreed. However, we should also keep in mind that the patch might take some time to develop and test. Choose the best solution. Considering the potential impact and the urgency of the situation, I believe developing a patch is the best solution. I agree with Sarah. It will allow us to address the specific issues faced by new computer operating system users without disrupting others who have already updated. Develop an action plan. Great. Let's move forward with the patch solution. Bob, can you take the lead on this? Coordinate with the development team to prioritize this issue and get started on the patch's development. Sure, Mr. Oliver. I'll make sure to keep everyone updated on the progress. Implement the solution. Over the next few days, the development team will work on the patch, conducting thorough testing to ensure its effectiveness. Communicate effectively. Team, it's important to keep everyone in the loop during this process. Bob. Please provide regular updates to the team and customer support so they can inform users about the progress. Understood, Mr. Oliver. I'll make sure to communicate effectively with the team and customer support. 
Evaluate the results. After the patch is developed, it undergoes rigorous testing. The patch is ready for deployment. We'll roll it out to the affected users and closely monitor their feedback. Learn from the experience. This whole experience has taught us the importance of thorough testing before rolling out any updates. Absolutely. We should ensure we have proper compatibility checks in place before future releases. Seek feedback. As we move forward, let's actively seek feedback from our users about the patch's effectiveness and their overall experience. The team continues to monitor user feedback and make further improvements as needed. The problem with the software is successfully resolved and the team gains valuable insights for future updates. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, give it a like, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below. I would really appreciate it.